And I'm so, so livid about it. No one even knows. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god, this eyelash looks so bad. And I was like, girl, what the hell? Like, keep your balls off, chill out. Like, damn. I have to spit out my gum and make my bed. Now I'm pissed. Okay, bye. And losing brakes to the vehicle during the accident. Guys, my brakes actually didn't work for like a week. I was driving with no brakes like for a week. But I was like, huh, no, honey. Um, guys, I have a good way here. It's really bad, okay. You know what? Hold up. I can't drive and I actually hit my life, so. Hey, guys. So, that was so obnoxious. Okay. Anyway, today I'm going to do a, I guess like a story time video. And I've never done one of these before. So, feel really weird. I don't really know how to do this. But, um, and I don't watch story time videos because I don't know. <laughs> Not to be like a shady hoe, but I really don't care. I don't know. Like, if I watch a video, it's literally like for a purpose. You know what I mean? Like, that sounds so shady. Like, so shady. But, anyway, um... There's, like, very few YouTubers that I watch that I literally just, like, love them. Other than, like, most of the YouTubers I watch, I watch them because it's, like, I literally watch them to learn something. Like, you know, watch them review products or test products out, blah, 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 like, for a purpose. But there's, like, five YouTubers that I watch that it's, like, no matter what they upload, I would watch it because I love them. But, like, those five YouTubers don't do story time videos. So I never watch story time videos. So... If this goes really bad, I apologize, but I've literally never watched a story time video before, so... Yeah, but I figured this is probably a good idea because I think this is a relevant enough thing that... A story time video... I don't know. I need to do, like, a whole video explaining it because it's fairly relevant to my life. So... Okay, um, anyway. So, I think I talked about this, like, a long-ass time ago that I have epilepsy which is like seizures and like my first seizure was my freshman year sophomore no my freshman year I think maybe I don't know freshman or sophomore year in high school and it was at a football game I fell down the bleachers that was terrible yeah anyway then I had another one at a haunted house that was terrible I was like all the way up in Mansfield which is like pretty far from me and I was at a haunted house, so, like, yeah, that's, like, oh, you're dumb. But, like, the thing is, I was, like, my second Halloween, like, having seizures. You know what I mean? Like, I went to haunted houses the whole Halloween before I went to haunted houses. This was, like, the sixth haunted house I went to that Halloween season, you know? So, I mean, it's, like, duh, you shouldn't go to haunted houses if you have seizures. But it was, like, never a problem before, so... It was never that serious that I couldn't even go to haunted houses was my point. <clears throat> anyway, then I had another one at my friend Amber's house just like randomly. I don't know. It was weird. It was cause, well, no, actually it was really weird because I literally did take my medicine that night. Like my seizures are so crazy, girl. If I miss my medicine like one time, like I take it in the morning and at night like 12 hours apart. And if I miss it like one time, it's like... I'm about to have a seizure so anyway that was weird because I literally took my medicine that night so I don't know why the hell I had a seizure that night but anyway that was like honestly probably within like it was this year it was like after Christmas you know what I mean so it was like within like the last like two months probably I would say anyway then <sighs> April 4th I don't know why I remember that I'm annoying anyway um, I was just driving, you know, and honestly, okay, when you have a seizure, you really don't remember anything, like, anything, like, the whole day of your seizure, like, I had a seizure at, like, 5 in the morning, and, like, I don't remember it my whole day, like, it was 5 in the morning, but it was, like, still nighttime, like, I didn't go to bed yet, you know what I mean, like, I was up all night, so it was, like, I don't remember that whole day, or the next day. So, it's a little blurred, so sorry, but anyway, I was at my friend Maddie's house, and, God, I'm literally out of breath right now, what the hell? Anyway, so, I was at my friend Maddie's house, and I felt like shit, so I was like, girl, I gotta go home. So, it was like 5.30, no, it was like 5 at this point, but I didn't go to bed yet, because I just felt like shit, so I was like, dude, I literally cannot sleep, I need to go home. 
and I'm so pissed at myself because I kind of felt weird, you know what I mean? Like, I felt sick, like, uh, I can't fall asleep, like, I just don't feel good. But then at the same time, like, I was up, you know, like, she woke up and was, like, talking to me because I was just like, oh my god, I don't really want to drive all the way home, but, like, uh, da, da, you know? So we're just talking, and I was just like, I don't know, I just feel really weird, like, I don't know, I don't think I'm able to fall asleep. I want to go home and lay in my own bed. But I kind of felt like, girl, I feel kind of weird, I don't know, I don't know, like, unstable. That's my word. Okay, when I'm about to have, girl, if I say I feel unstable, like, watch out because I'm literally about to fall on the floor and have a seizure, like, within a couple minutes. So I was like, I was like, I'm not actually going to have a seizure, but, like, I kind of feel unstable. And it's like, I have to say that because unstable, like, literally means I'm going to have a seizure and it's a weird word. No one ever knows what I mean, but it's just like, I feel weird. I can't put it into words. I just feel unstable. Like, I just do not feel okay. So that's the word I use. Anyway, so then... Um, I'm like, okay, I'm going to drive home. <laughs> Literally, like, kind of knowing, like, I feel really weird. This is probably a terrible idea, but, like, I can't sleep. I need to go to bed. It's, it was, like, 4.30 at this point. I was like, dude, I had work the next day, so I was like, e I need to go to bed. So I drive home. I'm driving home. I end up on, like, the southwest side of town. I thought I was on the southeast side of town, but I was on the southwest side of town. Anyway, scared shitless i'm just saying southwest side of town because it was like girl i was scared as hell like this is not somewhere a little 90 pound white girl needs to be by herself like girl oh my god i was scared shitless anyway so i'm saying i was scared shitless because i was like fucking helpless so anyway let me keep going basically i don't remember having a seizure at all but i did so anyway i had a seizure and I ran my car into, I don't know what the, f the first thing was. <laughs> so I ran my car, I think it was like a fence or something. I don't know, because I don't think it was in someone's yard. Because I think those people would have came outside. You know what I mean? But I don't know what it was. It might have been a fence at like a bar or something. I don't know. But then, I don't know. I feel like I would have gotten contacted. Anyway, I ran my car into something. Because I'm pretty sure when I had the seizure... Oh, and by the way, my car had no brakes. I was driving my car with no brakes for like a week. Because this dude couldn't get my car in. No one could get my car in until Friday. I don't know what day April 4th was. If that was literally officially Friday, then it was like Thursday night is what I'm saying. But anyway, I didn't have brakes in my car for like a week. Because no one could get my car in. So, I was like, I don't care. I'm still going to drive. So, um... Yeah, my car had no brakes. So first off, girl, I can't even stop at red lights. Like, this was ridiculous. So, anyway. Like, it's not even like I stepped on the brake, but, like, whenever I had a seizure, my foot, I'm pretty sure I, like, boom, like, on the gas or the accelerator, you know what I mean? Like, whew. okay. So, then, like, it's not even like it would have really helped me to step on the brake, but I'm pretty sure I slammed on the gas, girl. Like, oops. So, then, I wake up, I don't know how long later, because, like, you know, when you have a seizure, you're, like, you're, like, unconscious, so, like, you either come to, like, you know what I mean? Like, I had a seizure, and I was by myself, so I could have been passed out for 45 seconds or 45 minutes, like, I really don't know. Anyway, so I wake up, and I'm, like, what the fuck like literally what the fuck is going on like I didn't even realize that I wrecked my car but I was just like what am I doing sitting here like did I just like park my car and fall asleep like I didn't even realize I wrecked my car or had a seizure or anything so I'm just like what the hell am I doing so I'm like do I see what I think I see so I realize now that it was because my car was wrecked but I look in my rear view mirror and I see this man running towards my car like I in my mind I was on the southeast side of oh I must have my city oh my god anyway it's actually on the southwest side but I thought I was on the southeast side of insert my city here which it wasn't like by my house it was like downtown southeast like girl no little 90 pound white girl should not be over here by herself so I was like oh my god like I gotta go so I literally like, long story short, really quick, I basically wrecked my car, saw this dude, took off, and then wrecked my car again. Yeah, like, I wrecked my car, somehow it was okay, like, it wasn't okay, but it was drivable, so I wrecked my car, drove off, and wrecked it again, and then it was fucked. So anyway, 
see this man running towards my car and I realize now that you know what I mean if you see a car like you see a car wreck how often is it that you guys drive by or you're walking down the street and you see a car like wrecked into something so he was probably like oh my god like I can tell there's a person in there so he was like running towards my car but I was like oh my god I'm on the south west side of my city I'm about to die like all my law and order shit like I'm gonna die this is it I'm about to get kidnapped I'm gonna get raped and I'm literally going to die that's like my biggest fear ever so <laughs> oh my god okay anyway I'm low-key so traumatized from this I actually relived this situation like 50 times a day with different outcomes like it was literally the most like traumatizing thing in my life anyway so <sighs> I drive away and proceed to wreck my car into a telephone pole. Guys, wear your seatbelt. Like, literally, I should have died. But, like, I had my seatbelt on and there, there was not a scratch on me. Like, I was perfectly fine. And I literally, like, should have died. So, anyway, wrecked my car, drove off, wrecked it into a telephone pole, and then my car wouldn't move. And I was like, fuck. My car won't move. Like, dude. So... I think I passed out again or had another seizure. I really don't know. But I woke up and I see this man walking down the sidewalk and I was like, what the fuck? This dude is really trying to get me now. Like, this dude found me again. I drove my car and wrecked it again, but I didn't even realize I wrecked my car once, let alone twice. Like, when you have a seizure, you're like so out of it. So, I was just like, oh my god, I drove off and I parked my car again and this dude found me again. Like, oh my god. So, anywho, I put my car in, like, drive and first gear and second gear, like, thinking that would make a difference. And my car just wouldn't move. And, like, in reality, you guys have to see my tire, like... My tire was so messed up, I can't believe I was trying to, like, drive away. But anyway... This dude walked up to my window, and at this point, as soon as I saw this dude walking down the side, I was like, 911, oh my god. I'm like, this guy's trying to kill me. I'm in my car. My car won't move. I don't know what's wrong with it. I didn't realize I wrecked it. And I saw, like, a little crack in my windshield, but I thought that a rock just, like, flew up at my windshield. You know what I mean? When I was, like, driving crazy, I was like, oh, I pulled off, like, a rock probably flew at my windshield. In no way did I think that I wrecked my car into a telephone pole after I already wrecked it once that night. So I'm like, dude, I don't know what's wrong with my car, but it won't move. You know, I don't have brakes. I don't know if that's something to do with it. But, like, my car won't fucking move. Like, my car won't go anywhere. Like, I was so scared. I'm like, this dude's walking towards me. Will you please send the fucking police? I'm about to die. This dude's walking towards me. He's gonna be up my, he's gonna be at my window any second. So this dude walks up to my window. That's all I remember, okay? He did walk up to my window, and I was just like, oh my god, he's at my window right now. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And the lady's like, are your doors locked? Are your doors locked? And I was like, yes, yes. I'm literally sitting here on the phone with her. We got my hand right here because, like, the locks are on the door panel. And I'm just like, lock, 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 lock. Just staring at this dude. Scared as hell. Like, oh, my God. He's literally, I'm waiting for him to bash in my window. But I think he was, like, seeing if I was, like, getting help or if I was, you know, like, conscious, like, to call 911, like, for me. But at the time, I was like, yep, this dude's trying to kidnap me. He's trying to take me right now. He's literally about to kidnap me. Anyway, so... This dude, I don't know where he went, because anyway, the cops came, there was two, like, cop cars, and they were like, have you had anything to drink or smoke tonight? And I was like, no, what the fuck, no, like, and I'll be, but it's probably because I wasn't making, like, any sense at all. But anyway, so that's why I called the cops. I did not call the cops because I got in a car accident or because I had a seizure. I called them about this mysterious man. So, we're walking around on all the sidewalks, all the little side roads, trying to find this dude, and we could not find this dude, which is sketchy, just saying, because I don't know why he was walking around at 5.30 in the morning, that's weird, but anyway, we could not find him anywhere, we never found this dude, so anyway, I'll go to like, um, I think I took a screenshot of it, yes, okay, <laughs> April 4th, um, and yeah, it was at 5.09 a.m. I was on the phone with them for 8 minutes. They took 8 minutes to get there. Anyway, so it's 5.09 a.m. April 4th. It's like officially April 4th. But guys, look at my car! <laughs> you know what? Hold up. Anyway, 
So, this, like, I was sitting, you know, right here. Obviously, this is the driver's seat. I was sitting right here. And, like, this is my tire. And I'm like, I don't know why my car won't move. And they're just like, bitch, what the fuck? So, anyway. Literally, guys, look at what my tire looked like. Like, look at my car. I broke this whole thing off of my car. Like, that whole thing. This was all smashed. And, guys, just look at my tire. Like, what in the actual fuck did I do? I don't know. Like, look at it. Look at it, guys. This is what my tire looks like, and I was trying to drive away. Guys, I was literally trying to drive away on that. What in the actual fuck? And the most annoying thing, like, oh my god, guys, look at it. Do you literally see all that? Like... Oh my god, guys. Yeah, so it was, it was pretty bad. I think that's the last picture. Oh no, this is the picture. So this is my windshield. This is what I was talking about. Like that crack. That was a crack in my windshield that I thought like it was just a rock. I didn't realize I wrecked my entire car. There it is. Close up. That's the windshield. And then that's the crack. Anyway. Um, this is the one that it looks the worst, but the most annoying thing is that if you know Jeeps, hold on, Jeeps have an extra wheel on the back. So, I'm salty because, like, if I would have been with, like, a dude or something, like, you know what I mean? I don't know if it would have happened, but, like, maybe the first time I wrecked my car, since I drove off, I feel like it was, like, savable because the second time once I wrecked it into the telephone pole, it was totaled. So I'm salty as fuck because I feel like the first time that I wrecked my car, I feel like I could have taken the, the spare tire off the back. And like maybe, like maybe not, but maybe, some chance, maybe fix this. Like you know what I mean? Because this tire was the one that was messed up. Like obviously look at that shit. Are you serious guys? I was literally trying to drive away. Imagine trying to drive on that. Like it's not going anywhere. But, it's like, you know what I mean? Because, yeah, it's like, oh, your car looks so messed up. But, like, it might not have been that messed up the first time I wrecked it. Because I literally, like, wrecked my car, drove away, and wrecked it into a telephone pole. Like, good job, Rachel. But I'm just salty because I feel like the first time I wrecked it, it was into, like, a fence, not a telephone pole. So, I don't think it was that bad. And I'm salty because maybe if I would have just, like, replaced that tire, it wouldn't have been that bad. But I'm pissed. But anyway... So then these two cops came, and then they are just like, have you done anything to drink or smoke tonight? And I was like, no, what the fuck? Like, you're a dick. So then we're just walking, trying to find this dude, but this dude was real. I was not hallucinating. Like, I saw this dude twice. I know this was real. Because the first time I wrecked, I stepped on my brakes to, like, you know, you step on your brakes when you change gears. You know what I mean? So I stepped on my brakes to put it in drive or reverse or whatever to like take off after the first wreck. And this dude starts sprinting like this bitch is about to leave. So anyway, I did see this dude. I know I saw this dude. It was not hallucinating. So I was just standing there and we're just trying to find this dude. And I was like, oh my god, we can't find him anywhere. Like they think I'm crazy. Like, oh my god, we can't find this freaking dude. And then I did see this like freaking person look out of this, this window in this house. Like right where I wrecked. And I was just scared as fuck, even with the cops with me. I was just so scared. So then I was like, um, they're like, do you know how you wrecked your car? Like, bitch, what do you mean? You know what I mean? Like, if you, like, seriously, like, someone, that their car looked like that, you walked up to it and they were just like, oh my god, I didn't even know I wrecked it. Like, what do you mean? So I was like, uh, I felt my tongue and I bit my tongue because when you have a seizure, like, you usually do that. I always do that. I always, like, bite it really hard. And I was like, uh, and they were like, what? And I was like, I think I had a seizure while I was driving. And they're like, you had a seizure while you were driving? And I was like, yeah. And they're like, bleh, 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 bleh. you know what I mean? <laughs> I was like, uh actually I was like am I not making any sense and they were like no and I was like yeah yeah man I had a seizure and they were just like what bitch like what because I was just like oh you know what actually I think I had a seizure while I was driving actually now that I think about it and they were just like what and I was like yeah sorry <laughs> So, and then they're like, oh, call your mom. My mom didn't answer. I called her, like, five times. Just saying, mom. I really called you, like, five times before you answered. So then I'm just in this ambulance, and I'm just like, what the fuck? And I was like, 
do you think my car is totaled? Like, was it really bad? And they're like, yeah, yeah, your car is probably totaled. We're going to probably call someone to, you know, tow it because it's probably totaled. And I was just like, oh, dude, what the fuck? Like, I totaled two cars in 13 months. Like, the last one was not my fault. It, like, technically actually was my fault, but, like, it was freaking this lady's fault. Oh, my God, I want to re- I found the freaking traffic crash report. Yay! So, um, I'm about to read it. Okay, so, it says, um, unit number one, which is me. There was only one unit, but I guess they have to say that was northbound on this street near this street when it left the roadway. <laughs> yeah. Um, suffered disabling damage to the front passenger side, but continued on for multiple blocks. <sighs> yeah. On the east side of the road and struck a utility pole head on. As the operator was having a medical issue and losing brakes to the vehicle during the accident. Guys, my brakes actually didn't work for like a week. I was driving with no brakes like for a week. But like we just kind of let them think that yeah, that I lost my brakes in the accident. But like really I was driving with no brakes for like a week. Anyway, um, continued on blah and then on to an alleyway before coming to its final resting stop. Um, stated she believed she had a seizure while she was driving. Blah, 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 blah. The operator of Unit 1 was found to be at fault, but was not cited because of her medical issue. So anyway, um, thank God. I would have been pissed. But anyway, that was it. Um, yeah. Bye, hi. Turn on to an alleyway. Continued for multiple blocks. Struck a utility pole head on. I can't believe they thought my brakes went out during the accident. Like, that makes so much sense, but I just think it's so funny because I read that, like, two weeks later, and I just started laughing so hard. Like, <clears throat> yeah, anyway. So, that was kind of that. I went to the hospital and had, like, a million tests done, you know, and then I just remember the lady, like, ripping my earrings out, and I was like, Pfft. and she tried to take this one out, and guys, this middle cartilage piercing is so fucked. Like, it's so messed up. Seriously, it hurts so bad. And she went to grab it, and I was like, I grabbed her arm, I was like, no, and not that one. And she was like, okay. Because <laughs> this lady just like, ripping my earrings out like I'm n unconscious or something. And I was like, girl, what the hell? Like, keep your balls off, chill out, like, damn. So anyway, but that was for like an MRI, I think, because you can't have any like piercings in. But I was like, <laughs> no, honey. But anyway, so that was that. And then I was just at the hospital and just got a million tests done. <laughs> yeah. So anyway. I just felt the need to like do a story time about it because it was kind of crazy and now I lost my license for six months because <sighs> you have to be seizure free like it wasn't just because I was driving like if I had a seizure at my house you know what I mean but like the thing is I had a seizure like since like I started driving you know I had one like two months ago but the thing is I didn't like involve the police you know it was just like at my friend's house so I was like oh shit but like this one I literally had to call 911 like uh huh yeah I just told the story but anyway so then you know obviously like they, I had to involve the police so they took my license but you have to be seizure free for six months so like since I've had my temps I've always had to go every six months and go to my neurologist and like do the little thing where they put the sticky things all over you to see if there's like seizure activity or whatever so I've had to do that every six months but now I have to be seizure free for six months so basically like if I had a seizure in four months I would have to wait another six months so yeah it's not like oh you lost your license for six months it's like no you have to be seizure free for six months so it's not just if I had a seizure again I would have to wait another six months from like that date so I'm pissed because I'm going to turn 18 and have a whole month of being 18 that I can't drive. I'm so, so livid about it. No one even knows. I'm pissed. But anyway, that's that. And I can't drive and I actually hit my life, so. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and found this somewhat interesting. Um, if you don't care, I don't know why you watched it. And sorry this was so long. I know it was really long, but I just wanted to like read this actual like report thing. because This is like official, you know what I mean? So. Okay, so that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I love all of you so much, and sorry that this was really long. I know this video was like 20-something minutes long, and I do apologize, but I just felt like it was really relevant. I needed to make a whole video about it, and I kind of had a lot to say, so 
I hope you enjoyed. Sorry it was long, but please subscribe and leave any other requests you have down below. Any video ideas, girl, anything, just leave it down below. I'm going to go now. I love you guys so much. Bye. I never want to stop talking, you guys. That's why my videos are so long, because once I start, I don't want to stop talking. And I just get so sad when my video's over. I'm just like, mm. And I can't drive when I actually hit my life, so...